Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Disney Afternoons Series 2 action figures from Funko. That's right, my friends, it's a brand new wave of Disney Afternoons figures. I was so hoping we were going to get some of these. It feels like it's been so long since the other ones came out, but here they are. Very special thanks to the folks over at Funko for sending these along so that we can open them up in today's video. As you can see, we've got a great assortment of characters here, all of which come on different styled packaging that matches the shows that they're from. So in this series, we've got Launchpad, which comes on the Darkwing Duck packaging. We've got King Louie from Tailspin. We've got Gadget from Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. And Gizmo Duck, undoubtedly one of the most exciting action figures in this series. And he comes on the DuckTales card back. It was pretty interesting. I wonder how they came to the decision because obviously Gizmo Duck and Launchpad have both appeared in both Darkwing Duck and DuckTales, so they could cross over and be from any of those shows. But Launchpad gets the Darkwing Duck card back. Gizmo Duck gets the DuckTales card back. And the back of those boxes there basically just give you some scenes from the shows that they're based on, with the exception of the Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers card back, which shows you Chip and Dale and Zipper from Series 1. It's the only package with a cross-sell. I'm not sure why that is. But packaging aside, let's go ahead and get these guys ripped open and check them out. I'm so excited for Gizmo Duck. All right, we got our brand new action figures outside of the packages. And the first thing I'm going to do is bring the tape measure right in the middle here so that you can see exactly how these guys scale up. Uh, you got both Gadget and King Louie there right around the three inch mark. Gizmo Duck is about four and a half inches, uh, as is Launchpad there. So they're ranging between that four and three inch, depending on the size of the figure. Uh, definitely slightly under that five inch scale. For action figures, they definitely feel like they're scaled to about that five inch mark there. Uh, but all of them stand just short of that. But right in scale with the previous wave, of course, of Disney Afternoon's action figures from Funko. So let's go ahead and look at these guys one by one. Gadget here, of course, will fit right in with the Chippendale that we already got. She is also the only one from this wave that has the distinction of having an accessory being this little wrench here, which makes total sense since she's uh, she's the one that likes to build everything uh, for the rescue rangers to use. So she can hold that in her right hand. You do have to kind of have it um, long ways there for her to hold on to it, but she gets a pretty good grip on it there. It's really nice. As far as the articulation goes, looks like the head is ball jointed, but it's definitely hindered a little hard to move because of the hair. The hair is a pretty hard sculpt there. Um, so it actually, when you try to turn her head, you more so turn her body, but it can be moved, you can see. So the shoulders there are jointed with hinges so the arms can go outwards, forwards, and backwards. You do have elbow bends. They're very, very tight joints, but look at that. You can bend the elbows there. Uh, I showed you how the waist can twist. And then you just have those uh, cuts there at the thighs so the legs can go up and down. And the tail itself doesn't appear like it articulates, but you know, it's a bit flexible so it can kind of move around there. The colors look really great on her. I think overall she is very, very nice looking. Next up, we've got King Louie. I love the colors on this one. He just really pops with that great Hawaiian-like shirt and the lei that he's wearing straight out of Tailspin. Uh, I love that hat on his head there as well. Great looking sculpt, really captures the look of the character from the animated series. Uh, all in all, looks pretty good. Uh, the paint deco is decent on there. I will say that the pink of the lei almost doesn't look like it's quite thick enough of paint. You can actually see some blue through it. And I don't know if that's coming across too well on camera, but looking at it in person, you can definitely tell it needed probably another coat of the pink on the lay, but otherwise, he looks pretty great, and he's a very solid feeling figure. His articulation is very similar with that ball-like joint on the head there, so he can slightly move his head up and down as well as left and right. He does have those ball-like hinge joints at his shoulders. Uh, it's very, very tight articulation, but the late arms can go outwards as well as move up and down. Uh, but they're more kind of sculpted in the way, of course, that he's got that ape-like 
knuckle drag thing going on. Um, so he's got the swivels there right above the elbow, but nothing else in the hands, nothing at the wrists or anything. But he's molded with his, his knuckles down so that his arms actually touch the ground there. Otherwise, you can just kind of move the legs there at the thighs if you want to. Although, you know, there's really no other way he can stand other than with his feet flat. But you can also swivel the waist. But still, very solid action figure. Looks really, really nice. And like I said, love the bright colors on this one. And then we have Launchpad McQuack. Perfect for your Darkwing Duck. Perfect for your Uncle Scrooge. Wherever you want to place him, he is a classic fan favorite character. He looks fantastic. The body shape is awesome. It's perfect with that big barrel chest upper body. The short stubby little legs there. Uh, he's got his little flight cap on. I love the way the straps are kind of blowing around. Just that big chin and the big goofy smile on his face. He's really, really great looking. And his articulation matches right up with the others there. Ball-like joint at the uh, shoulder there, or the head there. Uh, the shoulders do have the ability to go outwards, forwards, and backwards. You got bends at the elbow. Again, very, very tight joints. I actually had to work mine loose a little bit there. It does not appear that his wrists articulate. These are actually part of the sculpt, so there's no movement in the hands. Uh, you can swivel him at the waist, but there's no other articulation in the legs, probably because of the sculpt and the size of the legs there. But he does balance great. He stands really well, and he looks like the character from the cartoons. Just a really great looking figure. And finally, my friends, that brings us to Gizmo Duck. And this one, of course, I mentioned is a very exciting toy because if you remember back in the heyday of the Darkwing Duck series, Playmates Toys actually produced a Darkwing Duck action figure line. Gizmo Duck was supposed to be in a wave that got canceled. He went as far as having pictures and solicitations, so we all saw the figure that never came out. So it feels like after all these years, we finally have a Gizmo Duck figure in our collections, and he is awesome. Uh, he looks great. My only complaint is I do have a blue paint smudge right there, which is a bit distracting because the rest of the white is so clean, so that blue smudge really stands out. It must be from the paint on the buttons down here or something. Um, so hopefully that's not a widespread thing. It likely isn't. Uh, otherwise, he looks great. The bright R. I love the screen and the buttons there on his chest. Uh, same bright, colorful buttons over here on the wrists, which is very, very cool. The head's on that same kind of ball joint there. Uh, you might also notice he's got this little clear stand that I actually just popped him off. So look at that. You can actually remove him from the stand. So you can display him. It's very easy to stand him up because he does just have that one wheel down there. But what I think is really, really great, if you take him off, the wheel does spin. So like, you actually could just roll him around like this, which is pretty fantastic. Otherwise, the arms do move the same as the others. He's got the hinge-like joints at the shoulders there, and he's got swivels right at the elbow, which kind of works as like ri uh, wrist swivels, and then a swivel at the waist. But man, I love it. I love that the wheel actually rolls, and giving him this little removable clear stand is just the perfect way to display a figure like Gizmo Duck. He's the standout for me in this wave, partially because I've always wanted a Gizmo Duck, and I'm so excited to finally have one, but also, he's a really nice action figure. In fact, all of these are very, very nicely done. All right, here's something I can do in this video. It's comparison time. I mentioned that Darkwing Duck toy line from Playmates Toys, and one of the figures they released in that line was a launch pad. So here's the new Funko launch pad standing alongside that original release launch pad figure. It's kind of amazing looking at these two side by side. You can see how similar the scale is. So these new figures will fit right in with your vintage Darkwing Duck figures if you have them, which means if you want to buy a Gizmo Duck to fit in with your Playmates Darkwing Duck figures, you can do that. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Disney Afternoon Series 2 action figures from Funko. These guys are pretty fantastic. And you can now, of course, display them right alongside Series 1. You can get King Louie and Baloo together. You can get Gadget with Chip, Dale, and Zipper. We're only missing Monterey Jack now. Uh, Launchpad can be with your Darkwing Duck or with Uncle Scrooge, same with Gizmo Duck. So we're building out DuckTales, we're building out Darkwing Duck. Pretty great getting some awesome action figure representation of these classic Disney characters. Boy, do I hope we get more of these from Funko. I don't know if we're getting another wave, but if we do at least get one more wave, man, come on, we need to get Monty. 
we need to finish out the rescue rangers there, right? He's the only one missing. I mean, villains would be great, but we got to at least get a Monty. If we're talking Darkwing Duck, some of those great villains would be fantastic. If we're talking DuckTales, of course, villains would be cool, but where's Huey, Dewey, and Louie? I hope we get those guys as well. So fingers crossed for more Disney Afternoons figures on the way. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, my friends.